Good evening, the moon viewing is about to begin. This evening we will see the harvest moon. Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing on GameCube. I believe this is episode 46 and we are back because it is a special event today. It is of course the Harvest Moon and something I, I don't know if I didn't know or I forgot actually happened in this game. But we do get to see the Harvest Moon. Um, so we'll see what's going on there and of course just do the usual tasks. Um, before we get going though, I have to thank the channel members of course, Xander and Caroline who are supporting this Let's Play series on this channel as Marvelous Maury's. Thank you so much for your support and the rest of the channel members who you can see at the end of the video as well I truly appreciate it now. I guess we've got some mail to catch up on Ooh. Oh, it fits perfectly. Okay. We've, we've probably got some fossils. Yeah, these are just nothing exciting here pretty much just fossils um, And we've got more or less. I'd say we're probably 75% complete with our fossils, but we've got an Ammonite of course as always every time an apto, ap, a pato skull. Always struggle to say that one. And the tricera skull. I believe we have the tricera skull. Of course, we are rocking Gracie's outfit as well. One of my favourite outfits. Oh, a balloon. We don't often get the. I've just noticed. Look at how different the grass colour is. Very different. Okay. All oh, the trees look different as well because we're causing autumn now. Oh no, this isn't going to get stuck in a tree. The only way to get these balloons for them to get stuck in trees. Even the weeds look different, I'm sure. Or maybe it's just my eyes. Oh! Can we use a net at this stage? No. I don't know if this is possible. Oh, we missed our opportunity. <laughs> okay, we'll put the net back. Looks like we've got some things to sell as well. Come on, get stuck in a tree! It's quite dark. We are in the evening, of course, because it is the harvest moon. So we need it to be pretty much nighttime, I think. Oh, I can't believe that's not getting stuck. Hello! Oh, we're not going to get it. What a shame! Okay, maybe next time. Bye, bye, balloon. Okay, let's see. We might have some new villagers, of course. Um, and with it being a couple of weeks, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of weeds everywhere. I can't believe how dark it is. It's, I think it's this dark. It's not even 7 p.m. yet. I think it's this dark because it is the harvest moon, maybe. Oh, listen to the music change. Very relaxing, chilled music. Oh! The moon is right beneath our pier! That is not good. Maybe we'll have to check back later. I imagine it must move across the sky. But how cool is that? A little disappointed it's underneath the pier. But actually, I guess it gives us a better look at it. Because otherwise it might be half off the screen or something. And I can see a mosquito is trying to chase us too. Hello! It's not that I don't like them. It's just that the other villagers are so common. I prefer being alone, really. Is that why you're standing next to Lee? Mm. It's fun to go moon viewing with other people, but I'd have more fun on my own. Wow, everyone's so sociable. Um, yeah, I, I imagine the moon moves throughout the night, so we'll check back in a little while. Um, but that's so cool. I've not seen that before. That's very interesting. Hello, Gruff. Yeah, sure. The moon's great. All I know is my neck's killing me, and I want to go home. Wow, everyone's so grumpy. Ellie, the moon looks so beautiful. It's like it's floating in the sea of stars, We one. You're not wrong. Oh, a little weed is in our picnic area. Get out of there. Okay, I thought there might be more villagers here. This is kind of the same setup as when we had a meteor shower. Uh, oh, I think, oh, that means a tour timer must be here. Hello, Walt Jr. Nice to see you haven't left yet, even though you seem to hate it here. Okay, let's see if tour timer... Or Tortimer, should I say, <laughs> is here. He's normally this side, away from everybody else for some reason. Hello! <laughs> Maury, tonight is the night of the harvest moon. It's a big, bright full moon that signifies the season for harvesting crops. I love this time of year. It means the harvest festival is coming, Sprout. 
Oh yes, the Harvest Festival, of course. We have that to look forward to as well. I know, I'll give you a little something to commemorate this year's Harvest Moon Sprout. It's the moon, isn't it nice? Oh, a moon! I didn't know you could get a moon in this game. You're pretty darn lucky. I wish I had one of those. What? <laughs> you just had one. Then I'd always be ba uh, bathed in sweet, sweet moonlight. Okay, let's go and check out the moon. Our moon. Who's that? Oh, Nate. What are you doing so far from your home? Hang on a sec. Maury, right? That's your name, isn't it? Yawn. It's kind of unusual for you to take off for two weeks, isn't it? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, you mean that's normal for you, Yawn? That sort of gets me wigged out about what you get up to. Hmm, what's up? What's going on? By the way, Maury, have you, uh, oh man, how am I going to put this? Have you gotten faster? Uh, maybe. We haven't been doing morning exercises, so... Possibly. Aha! Uh -huh. I thought so. Man, I know how it is. You just gotta watch your snack intake a little better. Especially at this time of day. Eating snacks now is like a first class one way ticket to porkdom. <laughs> Me, I hide my weight with my clothes so I can eat whatever, whenever yawn. Ka ching! Great. Oh, while we're here, we might as well talk to Copper. Good evening to you. Let's be extra careful when we're walking alone at night. The darkness is suspicious. Tell me, how else can Officer Copper be of assistance? Any goings on other than the Harvest Moon? There is nothing of important to report today. By the way, do you happen to know if Sal Joan will be here to sell turnips this Sunday? I'm actually interested in dabbling in the turnip market, but sadly, I'm on duty on Sunday mornings. I should like to buy, buy, buy some turnips too, and then maybe sell, sell, sell them for profits. Well, I'm pretty sure she'll be here. She's here every Sunday. Wow, we've got a lot of weeding to do. And I can't believe how different the, the colours look. I don't know if that's just because we've been away for a couple of weeks. Or if this is because of the season change. Because we're now in autumn. Um, but it kind of looks... Maybe it's because it's night time as well. I feel like it doesn't look like autumn colours. But maybe it's because it's early autumn. There's the football... Oh, yes, of course, all of our fruit orchards have grown. Okay, let's check out what Nook has for sale. Welcome, do come in. Thank you, Tom Nook. It's been a while. We've got some things to sell. No turnips, though, because we didn't buy any. Yes, yes, what can I do for you? Um, I'd like to sell. Very well, then, show me what you've got. Uh, oh, we can get rid of the sh oh, shirt. Refrigerator. Prism shirt. Big star shirt. Yeah, we don't need any of these. And... Oh, the, we don't want to sell the moon. And what's the far out shirt? Maybe we'll keep that because I'm not sure. And I'm not sure about the Tricera skull either. Uh, so we'll keep those just for now. And then we can go and double check. Uh, but the most exciting part, of course, is... Going to see what Timmy and Tommy have to offer today. Oh, an asteroid. Love the space stuff, but we've already got an asteroid. Welcome. The second floor is home to our clothing and furniture departments. Wow, look at this clock. Two clocks. <laughs> a modern chair. Do we need we need a modern chair, don't we? This looks different to the one we've got. Uh, we, we better take it anyway. Uh, 1,500 bells, that's fine. Yep, good price. I'll buy it. Thank you. Uh, we've got spare bells. We have paid off our entire debt. Um, so we could buy another house if you want. Uh, yes, how may I help you? I want to check turnip prices. As for the options, this is what we can offer. Although we don't have any turnips, so 100, ooh, 135 bells. One of the highest we've had in this town. Um, yep, let's go and drop the chair off. And then we check the museum to make sure we don't need the Tricera skull. We can check the town dump as well. And then we can start talking to the villagers a bit more. Uh, and if we need to, sell all of our fruit. Wow, I can't believe how many weeds there are. This is crazy. Oh, we should have brought a shovel as well so we could plant it in the dig spot. Okay, let's have a quick check of the map. See who... Oh no! Robin's left! Nate, Gwen, Walt Jr., Belle, Ribbit. Uh, is Eloise a new villager? I think so. Everyone else is pretty much the same. Wow, so many weeds. Okay, let's go to the house. 
Left the light on. Oh no, cockroaches! Pesky cockroaches. How many more are there? Oh, t two more. It's hard to get them when you've got no not much furniture. Okay, there we go. Is there any more? Oh, wow. Six cockroaches. Okay, where's the other one gone? In the corner. There we go. We'll just do a double check. Make sure there's no more. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Eight cockroaches. This is unbelievable. Okay, I think we got them. Okay, let's go upstairs and check our modern furniture. Oh, it was the couch that we got. So we, we were right to buy the modern chair. There we go. Awesome. Um, I thought we might get lucky and have red in our town or something today. Um, but let's check out this moon. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a... Like, literally a moon. How cool. It doesn't light up like in future games, though. But that is pretty cool. Uh, and it's massive. And unfortunately, we need to keep a hold of it. Okay, let's check out the Far Out show. We didn't get this from... Did we get that from anyone? I'm reluctant to sell things. I don't think we did. I'm um, pretty sure the Gracie shirts are here. And the one we're wearing. And the one we sold. Um, that's okay. Oh, we may as well check the rest of our mail. So we can get rid of the museum. Tom Nook. Oh, a daffodil chair. And, oh, from Robin. I'm sure we've become an emotional wreck looking for me. But I've gone now. I'm sorry I left without a word. It isn't like I don't like you. I was just, it was just time to move on. Okay, I understand that, Robin. To be fair, we didn't talk that much. So I understand. Okay, let's check the notice board. Oh, oh, Fall Sports Fair. Come to the Wishing Well Plaza on September 23rd to watch the events. It'll be a wild time, guaranteed. Oh, wow, I've never done the sports fair before. Um, I think it only happens for like one or two days or maybe, is it maybe three days? Uh, weather report, forecast for heavy rain expected through September. Ooh. Um, oh, here we go. The uh, fall sports season is almost here. We've missed a lot of mail. <laughs> I expect you to pick up my slack, Pete. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, Goose. We Did we get that one already? Yeah, I think we got that one from Goose. Okay, so we've got the sports fair to look forward to as well. Um, and it'll be a bit brighter because it won't be night time. Oh, furniture, a rock guitar, and a checkerboard tee. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, nice. We quite like that, but we don't want to accidentally sell Gracie's shirt. So we're, we're digging this one for the moment. Okay, we saw the um, we saw the glow spot somewhere, but I'm pretty sure it was near a tree, wasn't it? There. Oh, we could plant one there, but we'd have to cut down the tree next to it. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Okay, let's go and double check the museum. Make sure we don't need a Tricera skull. See if the moon's moved as well. I think it has moved, but it's moving that way. <laughs> Maybe we should have come on a bit later. Okay. Oh! What was that? Cricket. Okay, we probably should check the beach as well to make sure if Gulliver's Lying here somewhere. Gwen, my favourite, or my second favourite penguin, should I say. <laughs> oh, Maury, how long has it been? Too long. Have you gotten anything nice since the last time I saw you? Yeah, we got a moon. But let's get right to the point. What can I do for you, hon? Uh, just hanging. I just love September. The insects make such a lovely chorus at night. Yeah. The next step for you is to recognise types of insect by their cries, hon. For instance, there's a many types of cricket, you know. You have to have the ability to tell which ones are what. You merely need to train your ears to discern their cries. Okay. Me, of course, I can name them just by their cries. 
I, w I won't do it at the moment, though. Of course not. You don't want to share your talent very often, do you? Okay, here's the museum. I think we have quite a rare museum as well, because we have the pond next to it. Uh, oh, this is the Tricera skull, isn't it? Oh, no, it's Dego. Oh, no, this is it, of course. Tricera skull. So, the one part of the Tricera we actually have. Uh, but that's good for us. We can sell it. So, how many more do we need? One, two, three. Got all the middle ones. Four, five. Five is all we need. No wonder we're struggling to get new fossils. Okay, let's go and we might as well check lost and found. And then we're going to go and buy an axe and we're going to dig up this tree so we can plant another golden tree. Ooh, finally! Actually, we need some paper as well. But finally, there's some furniture. Uh, oh, sure, yes, every item here is lost. I mean, uh, we don't know who owns them. The items. You can take anything, I think. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, that's a f Naomi figurine. Uh, no. Oh, really? I thought you said... Uh, sorry, I pay, I pay more attention for now on, I guess. But we could use the paper, actually. Oh, that's rainy day paper, I think. So, would that be yours? Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. We need it for our fossils. That's fine. Go ahead. It shouldn't be a problem, I think. Well, thank you. Okay. Thank you for stopping by. No problem. So, we need to throw away some of these... Uh, we're going to keep Robin's letter of goodbye. <laughs> uh, right to the museum. There we go. We can sell, pretty much sell all of this actually, can't we? Yeah, okay, we can sell everything else. Uh, so, as well, we're going to sell these, we might as well buy the shovel. The spare shovel so we can plant it in the dig spot and hopefully grow another golden tree because the long-term plan if we end up playing this game long enough would be to have more gold trees than normal trees because I feel like that's just a really cool feature that's a shovel the price is 500 bells yes um, but the gold trees are so hard to grow because there's no guarantee that it will grow and if, if the gold spots near a river or a rock or a building then you can't actually plant a tree there because it just won't grow um, yep. Try, try it out, why don't you? Take a careful look around and see what you might be able to dig up. Hmm, thank you. Uh, oh, we need to sell some things. And we should probably buy some flowers as well. There we go. If I add up, my price comes to 6,150 bells. I guess that skull was worth a lot of money. Okay, we might as well buy the flowers while we're here. So we've got yellow tulips. We want some purple and blue flowers. Always seems to be such a lack of purple and blue flowers. Uh, blue cosmos! Yes! A steal at that price. Yes, we'll certainly take that. Uh, that's a white pansy bag. The price is 120 bells. Thank you. Yellow pansy... And the final one is a red tulip. Um, I didn't see what the third one was. What's the third one? Oh, what, uh, was it white? So we got yellow, blue, white, yellow, red. Okay. So we can plant the flowers and we can dig up that tree now. So we need to get our axe out. Uh, oops. There we go. Okay, we're going to find the dig spot and we should be able to plant this tree. I might not have cut this down if this was a pine tree. Because um, I like having the trees close to buildings because they do struggle to grow there. But because it's just a normal tree, we can cut it down. Oops. There we go. Um, but cutting this down makes space for us to plant another tree. Here. 
Check it out. I dug up a thousand bells. Okay, which acre is technically in this acre, I guess. Um, there we go. Berry. And this should grow another golden tree. Hopefully it grows. It's not near anything. It's got plenty of space. Um, so there's no reason why it shouldn't grow. Oops, I didn't mean to drop that. <laughs> I meant to put it in the wallet. There we go. Okay, let's go and see. Oh, there was a fossil back here. So now, really, we've just got to find some fossils. We need one more to post. And then we can finally talk to the villagers a bit more. I'm pretty sure I saw one here a second ago. There we go. Of course, we might dig up some gyroids as well. Um, okay, so normally Robin lived around here somewhere. But they've moved. Anyone at the plaza, of course. There's an event on and no one's at the plaza. Oh, someone is at the plaza, Nate. Hey, Maury. So, what do you need, Yawn? Uh, talk to me. Maury, this rules. I thought of a sweet game we can play. The rules are simple. You just choose right or left. How's that? Exciting, right? Was that a hint? <laughs> What's going to happen? You'll find out soon enough. Do you want to try it or no? Uh, I'll do it. Okay, choose right or left, Yawn. Choose. We're going to go right because I feel like he was trying to push us to choose right. Right. Oh, no. Looks like you're buying... Oh, I did not agree to this. and We already have a tatami mat. That's the deal, Maury. I'll take your 2,980 bells. Ouch. Okay, what would have happened if we'd have pressed the left button then? Hmm? I don't know. Weeds everywhere. Ooh. Another fossil. Okay, we should probably do some more checks along this side of the beach to make sure Gulliver's not around. No gyroids. Come on. We want some gyroids. We've got plenty of fossils. And plenty of weeds. Unbelievable. Gyroid. No. I guess it hasn't rained in the two weeks we've been not here. Even though we should have had plenty of uh, rainfall according to the bulletin board. Um, the crickets do sound really nice, don't they? Bell. What sort of weirdness are you up to every night? Seriously, Cuddles. Isn't it kind of strange that we haven't met up in like a bunch of weeks? There's no need to exaggerate, Belle. <laughs> what are you seriously saying that I was just spaced out the entire time? So what's going on, Cuddles? Uh, can I help you? Maybe I can make it up to you. How come you always show up when I've got nothing for you to do, Maury? Do you plan it that way? Uh, we're, we're beginning to think we do. We do have a track record of struggling to get jobs from villagers. Yes? Would you be so kind to tell me your name, Gribbit? Oh, you don't say. It's me! Me! I haven't seen you in for a long time! In for a long time. So I figured I'd play a little trick on you, you know, with the funny. Never mind, wasn't funny. And seriously, if I don't see you for a long time, I really forget you. Hey, why are you even talking to me? Um, why is Wart Jr. being kind of nice to us? This is a bit strange. Ah, I can't find my niece's ball. I'm toast. You look for it right now. Yep. I have no idea where the sinking thing went. So this is going to take forever. No problem. We can get it for you. We know exactly where it is. And we don't have to get it up a hill like last time where we had to give up. <laughs> Whoops. I don't think we're going to get any gyroids, but we've got plenty of fossils. More fossils than we need, actually. Okay, let's go and get this ball and give it to Wart Jr. I don't know. Oh, maybe, maybe best to take it over that string rope bridge there because I think this bridge has sides on it. Okay, we can do this. Oh no. Go round the tree. <laughs> Just need to get it down. There we go. Without dropping into the water. Okay, that's good. 
Okay, I think we're going to try and go over the bridge here. Um, I don't know for sure, but I feel like the ball shouldn't go off the edge. No! The ball went through the rope! That is not good. Tour timer, help me. You're a turtle. Or a tortoise, should I say, even. Which means you can't swim. No, my logic is flawed. Legends of the Mayor is one of the all-time favorite films, Maury. Oh, good for you. Our poor ball. It's going to get washed out to sea. Um, it would be funny if it went out to sea and we could get it back on the beach. Let's try this. This is one of our rare times we might be able to rescue the ball, maybe. Because uh, it's not going to go down any waterfalls. What, well, Junior? There's your, there's your ball. <laughs> See, it should come under the bridge. And maybe it will... Oh, I think it might get stuck, actually. I was hoping it might come out here and we might be able to get it out again. Is it really going to work? No way. Oh no. <laughs> I think we, oh, it's gone. I think we might have been able to, oh, it's coming back again. Maybe we can get rid of the shovel. I think it might come back. We need to kind of, Oh, if, oh, it's so close. I don't think we're going to get a, enough. Uh, I don't think we're going to get lucky enough. Oh, that's a shame. Sorry, Walt Jr. We'll have to try another time. Uh, it, it should spawn again, though. Okay, let's go and see. This side of the, the town is very heavily populated. Um, this is where everyone's hanging out. So we'll probably go and see some people here. Or animals, should I say. Whoa, Maury, it's you. It's so great to see you. Long time no see, huh? Really? Didn't Wait, didn't you move out, Genji? <gasps> what are you doing here? Really? It's been about 20 days since I moved away, I think. I definitely look back fondly on the days I used to live in Maury land. Nothing's changed, huh? Wow, we finally met a villager back in our island, or in our town that moved away. Hey, you remember when we used to hang out? We did stuff like this, and that, and other stuff, too, Otaku. Man, that was the best. Oh, wow. Welcome back, Genji. It's really nice for you to visit. I can't believe it. I've never, I knew it could happen, because I kind of heard it could happen. But never have I experienced it in the early game of a village being able to meet a villager that's moved away again. That is so cool. Obviously, you can go to the town they moved to and see them, but that's really awesome. Even though we live in the same town, two weeks could easily pass without us meeting even once. Oh, I know what happened. I guess we both just lost track of time at, like, the same time, little hare. Hey, did you want something or what, little hare? Need anything, Pippi? Aha, uh -huh, I do have something. No, I'm lying. I don't. I'm sorry, but I don't. Sorry about lying too, little hair. Sorry. That's okay. Is Sidney still about here? Oh, Ribbit. Yo, evening. That face could only belong to... Oh, Maury, right, Ribbit? Yep, it's you after all. My instincts are the greatest in the entire universe. Yeah. Anywho, you probably want something, don't you? So, what is it? Let's talk. You see the ad yet? I guess Nook's going to have a special item on sale. I think it's wallpaper. You can always count on Nook to put some real special items up at a tasty discount when he has a sale. So if you're looking for wallpaper, you should fully check out the sale action. When's the sale? We need to check the sale. Are we going to get, we'll probably get a letter. Hopefully it wasn't today and we've not missed it. Okay, I think you're new. Stop shouting! I'm right here! I can hear you fine, toot! So, what's your name? Yelly Von Hol Hololots? Maury? Teehee? 
What a silly name. Oops, I'm sorry. You had to hear that. Me and my big, if rather cute, mouth. My name is Eloise. What do you think? Don't you wish it was your name? I hope to see you around, toot. Oh, I never took you to be an aggressive, grumpy villager. I don't know. Wasn't expecting that. Sydney! It's been an awful long time, hasn't it, Maury? How do you think my house is looking, we won? So, what can I do for you? Care to chat? Don't you just love spending your whole day fishing out by the river? Or maybe at the beach? I'm sure you've caught a ton of fish, Maury. You have, haven't you, Wee One? Of course! Oh, I was trying to be sarcastic, but I'm not very good at it. Well, if you're bored enough to catch all those fish, why don't you help some people in need, Wee One? They'll probably appreciate your help, and you might even be rewarded with a gift, Wee One. You're not wrong. Is your house changed then? It does look a little different. Okay, who else do we need to talk to? Uh, ooh. Goose, yo, evening. That face could only belong to old Maury, right? Okay. Yep, it's you after all. My instincts are the greatest in the entire universe. Well, I think you've got competition, to be honest. Something's telling me you've got competition. <laughs> Tell me, Maury, what's new? Uh, I want a job. Hey, when you get a letter from someone, do you write back or just ignore it? I always write back, okay? It's just common courtesy. See, I know some people who never write back. You believe that? Talk about lazy bone slackers. People like that are the reason why I don't usually send anything but responses. It's no kind of fun to write when you don't have a res don't get a response. You hear what I'm saying to you? So hey, try writing me. You guaranteed a response, okay? Promise? I uh, can't promise anything, but we will try. Oh. This was... Whose house was this? I can't remember. Um, Tybot's house. He demanded flowers upon flowers upon flowers and then moved out. <laughs> okay, who deserves... Oh, Mitzi, the cutest cat of them all. You deserve some flowers. We'll just plant a bunch of flowers here, I think. Just because Mitzi's so sweet. Okay, let's check out what Mitzi has to say. Good evening! How have you been? I know that you're busy, but you really need to take a rest once in a while, Mew. My door's always open for you, so please relax here whenever you feel the need. Isn't Mitzi just the sweetest? So, what can I do for you, Mew? Uh, let's talk. Don't you just love spending your whole day fishing? We've... Are you just copying people? Uh, no, we haven't caught any fish today. We'll just go with that one. <laughs> yeah, who does? I'm sure you must keep yourself awfully busy. Oh, and I hope you know I'm not being sarcastic. I really mean it. That's okay. Oh, these are nice gyroids. Are they from the same set? I think they must be. <gasps> Cabana bookcase. We need it. Mitzi, you don't have much furniture. What's going on? Maury, hi. How are you this evening? So, what can I do for you? Uh, need any help? Hmm, uh, sorry, I can't think of a single thing, Mew. Okay, I think we've spoken to everyone, pretty much, apart from Cube. Um, everyone else is by the lake, of course. Hey, evening! Maury, where have you been these past two weeks? Somewhere, dude. Every time night falls, I head out searching for you, but nope, zip, nothing. I know I may look pretty laid back and cool, but I'm kind of a worry wart at heart. Ah, oh. so what do you need? Um, give me work. I've got a real stupid problem at the moment. I really want to catch some bugs, but I don't have a net. Even if I did, though, I doubt I'd be fast enough to actually catch bugs, dude. I'm not exactly built for speed. I wouldn't care, but this guy I know told me not to come back until I caught an insect. Isn't that weird? Well, weird or not, I guess I'll never get to hang out with that guy again. Oh, who's... Let's go Let's go talk to this guy. Who's, who's being mean to Cube? This is not acceptable. Okay, we're going to catch a bug. I hear a bug. Oh, there's the other ball. Okay, where's the bug? Uh, 
Um, okay, we might have to catch a different one. We've seen loads of bugs, and now we want one. We can't find one. Okay, might as well pick these weeds. Um, I hope these aren't mole crickets that are underground. Because whilst they sound really nice, they're horrible to try and hunt down. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Come back here. There we go. We got it in the end. I caught a cricket. I think that means we're going to have an early fall. I think we're already in fall, technically. Okay, let's go and give this cricket to um, Q. That way he can hang out with this guy. Whoever this guy is. I don't know why you want to hang out with them when you can hang out with us. Hey, Maury. So, what do you need, dude? Uh, I caught a bug. There you go. Here's a cricket. You're a lifesaver. Now maybe that guy will be my will be friends with me. Who is this? I hope I can thank you for this somehow, dude. Do you maybe want a fancy carpet? Trust me, it's the coolest. Thank you. Thank you so much. You really helped me out. I'm glad you came around, dude. Okay, we're going to take this ball to Wart Jr. But first, we're going to double check we didn't miss a Nook sale. So that's the sports fair. That's the weather report. That's the sports fair. That was from Goose, which I think we did that one. And Moon Viewing. Yep, yeah, and that was the one that we had at the start of September. So, okay, we haven't missed the sale, I don't think. Okay, let's see if we can get this ball to Wart Jr. Might be best just to knock it down the cliff. There we go. Hopefully it's still there when we get round. And then we should probably check in on the moon again. See if it's moved. Uh, aha, here it is. Don't mind me. Just casually taking a ball. Hopefully this one's a bit... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, Walt Jr., here's your ball. Okay. Hey, we did it, huh? Hey, a ball! Hmm. Oh, it's just Maury again. Hey, grib it. Hey, why are you even talking to me? Uh, here's the ball. You found it too, my niece's ball, except, uh, there's a problem. She, see, I already found it. There must be someone else's ball. Oh, so, uh, sorry about that. All your effort for nothing, huh? And you stole some kid's ball. <laughs> Don't put that on me. I, I guess the first ball we found must be the ball. <laughs> Even so, I can't just give you the ball back without something for your effort. I'm a stand-up guy after all. Wart Jr. is being strangely nice. I think it's because it's the evening, and in the morning, he's really cranky and grumpy. But in the evening, he's chilled and laid back. How about a green chair? Pretty darn nice, huh? Yeah, I figured it's about your speed, Gribbit. Thank you. We'll take it. I'll be counting on your help in the future too, you know. Be ready. Okay, well, since you don't want the ball, we may as well chuck it in the river. Oh, look at the moon. It is moving. I'm so glad it moves across the, um, the pond. I guess earlier it would have been in the middle, but we just happened to come when it was uh, at the end of, or underneath the pier or the dock. But that is really cool. The moon is pretty, but it doesn't do anything. It just sits there all night. How boring, cutie. Hey, would you mind letting me sit next to Lee? Oh, and as long as you're up, would you mind fixing me a snack? Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. The moon's great. All I know is my neck's killing me. I want to go home. You said that last time. Hopefully Ellie's enjoying it. I can't find a good place to look at the moon we won. I keep getting a stiff neck. Why don't you try on the pier? See, there it is. Okay, let's go and talk to Tour Timer again. See if he's got anything else to say. Oh, sorry, Walt Jr. Uh, oh, look at that, a big fish. And we didn't scare it away. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
Oh, we nearly, nearly missed it. Wow. I caught an Aropaima. This thing is huge. Wait, did we already have an Aropaima? We did catch a big fish, but maybe that was a big catfish we caught. I can't remember. Let's go check. Um, no point in disturbing Blathers. We can check. It should be... Ooh, oh, there we go. Giant snake head donated by Maury. Arrow Pima. Okay, so we have already caught one. Excellent. So we can sell it for like... I think it's like 10,000 bells or something crazy. Um, but we could... I think we might just keep it. It's quite a rare fish and we might not see one again. Especially, I imagine they're kind of going to head out of season soon too. So let's go and put it in our house. Um, we could search for the money rock as well, but we don't really need much money at the moment. Although, we we are able now to save uh, money in a savings account at the post office. And you do get rewards for the more you save, so... There we go. I feel like that kind of fits in with this room, actually. Oh, yes, our TV! I, f I was like, what's that sound? It's the TV! Okay, what else have we got? Um, green chair we don't need. The mat we don't need. None of these. Uh, why have we got so many fossils? Uh, there we go. We literally don't need any more fossils for a couple of days. Uh, we might as well go and send these other fossils before we forget. No one seems to be at home. Most people are out and about. Okay. Oh, it's evening, so we're going to have the grumpy Phyllis, I think. Uh-oh. Hmm. A customer. Welcome. So, what do you want? Uh, we'd like to mail a couple of letters, and then maybe we'll put some money in our savings. Uh, we'll send this to the museum, please. Yes, yes. In it goes. So, is that it? Or do you have some more? One more. Well, two more, sorry. Yes, yes, in it goes. So, is that it? Or do you have some more? There we go. Last one. Yes, yes, in it goes. Is that it? Or do you have more? No more, thank you. Okay, close the door on the way out and be quick about it. Okay, we're just going to drop some 10k, I think, in savings. Uh, so, what do you want? Uh, we want to make a deposit. A deposit, huh? Yeah, yeah, hold your horses. Uh, we might as well just put 10,000 10, in. Your balance is 70,000 bells. So, what else do you want? Hurry up and get out. <laughs> uh, we want to save a letter. So, how do you want to... Uh, okay, we want to... Uh, we're looking for the... There we go. Villagers that have moved out. We're keeping their letters. Although, I think I accidentally deleted one or two. But, we're keeping them just so we can kind of keep a track. There we go. There's Genji's letter. Um, but, he, they are back to visit us today. And um, what was this one? Oh, from home. Okay. We might as well... One off from home. There we go. I labelled all the pots as well. Uh, we, we might as well keep these because these have all got our tools in. This is it. All right. Already enough. Uh, hurry up and get out. Okay, we're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. Don't worry. Don't worry. Calm down. <laughs> okay. Maybe, we, maybe we'll do a bit of sea fishing. See what the, the full fish are like today. Um, we've got some fruit. We probably should... Uh, tell you what we should probably do. Is shake the fruit down so even more can grow. Um, so when we do need to sell them, there's plenty of fruit there to sell. And there's some fruit trees over here as well. There we go. I love the music. It's so cool. Okay, maybe we could do a spot of fishing. We'll go. We'll do some sea fishing, but maybe we should catch a moon pond fish. <laughs> yeah, sure. The moon's great. Yes, we know. Gruff. Relax. Here you go, fishy. Are you seriously not taking the bait?
There we go. I think it'll just be a common fish. Oh, what's this? I caught a salmon and it made it all the way back here. Now I feel bad. Oh, wow. So the salmon swam up from the sea, up the river, I guess. Uh, we don't have a salmon, so we do need to donate that. So these are all new fish. Another salmon. Oh, they're not as rare as I thought then. Either that or we've just got super lucky. So yeah, I think you'll only catch salmon in the river coming off the sea. Oh, there's a fish. Okay, what sea fish have we got this month? No. Oh, we got bitten. Yeah, oh, I got bit by a mosquito. Man, that really itches. Okay, come on, fishy. Oh, it's too quick. Okay, there should be another fish around here. Somewhere. There we go. We got it. Probably going to be a jellyfish or a sea, sea bass. I caught a sea bass. What a surprise. Gwen. Maybe you like fish, don't you? Maybe you can take the sea bass. Maya, I didn't expect you again. Hello there. Enough idle chit-chat. Did you need something from me? Uh, need anything? Oh my, I just had something for you, but I'm afraid it's been taken care of. Maybe next time. No problem. Uh, so it doesn't look like we're going to get many rare sea fish. Yep, just sea bass. Boo. Okay, we're going to go and have a word with Tour Timer. Because we need to make use of his company while it's here. Open your ears, Maury. Can you hear the whispers of Autumn's soft voice? I can hear them. The voices that call to me the mayor. They speak of naps. <laughs> ah. Okay, we should probably go and donate something to Blathers. It's been a while, so he can have a salmon. It's been a really productive day, I have to say. Welcome, please do come in. It's so very nice to see you. Yes, we're not used to making your acquaintance while you're awake, are we? Uh, yeah, we want to donate a salmon. Splendid! What no doubt priceless item might you have for us today? Uh, salmon. Oh, I've only just noticed their colors. Nice. Oh, indeed. Oh, a salmon, I believe. Even run-of-the-mill common fish are valuable resources, you see. Uh, since when have salmon been common fish in Animal Crossing? All part of the grand tapestry. What? Uh, well, we will take care, excellent care of this fellow. Oh, yes, you can rest assured. Excellent care indeed. You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. Might there be anything else? Not at the moment. Um, but we do have a whole lot of autumn bugs to catch as well now. So, I mean, we're going to have to come back on in a few days to do the sports fair, which is really exciting. So maybe we could um, drop an episode or two a week in. Let me know what your thoughts are. I do want to continue with Stardew Valley just because it's so fun. Um, but I think maybe we could switch between Stardew Valley and this. And then, of course, we have to decide whether we're going to get a new house or whether we're just going to keep saving the money and unlock post office rewards. That is the that is the question. <laughs> okay, let's see if Cube ever got to talk to that guy. The sun's about disappeared, hasn't it, dude? Uh, what's up, dude? We need a job before we call it a day. Need anything? I just had something. Wait a minute. No, I guess not. Sorry about that, dude. Oh, that's fine. I guess half the people are kind of watching the moon, so... Maybe there's not many jobs to going around. Oh no, Goose wants a letter. What's going down? Well, I tell you one thing that did the sun. Hey, so what can I do for you, Maury? Uh, let's talk. Hey, I was over at your place the other day and that gyroid of yours is so awesome. I was watching the way it spins faster and faster and goes nuts whenever you get close to it. Okay. It freaked me out. Why does it move like that anyway? Uh... <laughs> it came that way. Oh. 
That's just weird. I wonder where I can learn a move like that. I know, I'll just start spinning around faster and faster and soon I'll just be like your gyroid. Okay, let's go. Faster, faster, faster. Oh, you're letting the side down, goose. You made me look silly. Okay, ribbit. Hey, it's gotten pretty dark, hasn't it? Either that or my eyes have gone kooky. Anywho, you probably want something, don't you? Yeah, we need a job, please. So what is it? I want a job. Let me see. Nope, nothing I can think of. My mind is a complete blank. Maybe next time. Okay, this is not good. Maybe the newbie. Hmm. Maury, what is it? Toot. But let's get right to the point. What can I do for you? Toot. Can I help? I hate to disappoint you, but I really don't have any favours to ask of you. My apologies. Are you seriously, no one's got any favours. Freya, where are you? Oh no, Freya's by the by the pond. Belle. Good evening, Cuddles. Hey, did you want something or what, Cuddles? I need work. How come you always show up when you... Are you serious? Not a single person's got a job for us. This is not acceptable. Okay, maybe now we've got Walt Jr.'s ball out of the way. Maybe he'll have a job. Hey now, it's you again, is it? Uh, so then, grib it. Why are you here? I need work. Nothing. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. Okay, we're going to go and try Nate, if Nate's still about. Nate's always good for work, most of the time. Uh, are you still by the plaza, Nate? Uh, doesn't appear so. Maybe Nate's gone home. Nate! Any news, Yawn? Uh, what's up? Give me work. Um, just a sec. Yep, I've got no- Oh, got a hotel. I'll catch you later. That's just not good. Okay, we could probably sell the remaining items. To Tom Nook, just to get a bit more money. Welcome, do come in, have a look around. Yes, yes, what can I do? Uh, sell. Sell, sell, sell. Money to be made. If I add up, my price comes to 2,222 bells. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, do come again. I look forward to seeing you. Okay, we're just going to knock the fruit off this tr these trees, I think. Oh, we have to get rid of our shovel. Uh, our fishing rod, sorry. Uh, we're not going to sell all this fruit now, but we might want to sell it all in the future. And by the time we come back on, there'll be even more fruit grown. Because um, the sports fair is in a couple of days, so we're definitely going to come back on for that. I believe there's a fruit tree over here, although we might have to move this one because it's kind of weird and out of the way. And also, we've got one over here as well, the other side of the river. There we go. Okay, cool. Okay, we try it. Oh, there's our statue. It looks even better at night. Look at how sparkly it is. This statue was erected in honor of Maury's full loan repayment. That's so cool. Okay, we really want one job at least before we finish. But there is no work for us. We can't ask Goose because he'll just want a letter. Uh, I guess we should have one last look at the Harvest Moon, since it's such a rare event. There we go. It's out in the in the middle of the pond now. I guess it's going to keep going that way for the rest of the evening. I think it only a appears there at about 12 o'clock. So we're probably between... Is it six between 6 and 12? So 9 o'clock is probably the biggest and brightest. We should have timed this a bit better. Um... But there we go, that's one of the perks of playing Animal Crossing, I guess, in real time, so. Okay, oh, who's this? I thought I heard someone else walk in. No, it was just Walt Jr. Okay, we'll ask, we'll ask Gwen one last time, because I do feel like we can get a job out of someone. My, I didn't expect you again, hello there. But let's get right to the point. I need work. I hate to disappoint you. 
Why does no one have any work? This is, is this because we've been ignoring you for two weeks? This is just not acceptable. <laughs> okay, um, maybe we'll ask Cube. Cube will be our very, very last attempt at getting work. As forgetful as Cube is, he might have forgotten he has work for us and he might remember this time. Any news, dude? Yeah. So, what do you need from me? Ah, uh, if only you'd gone here soon. I did have something, but now I don't. Okay. Well, we tried. Hopefully our tree grows as well by the time we come on next. But I think we'll probably call it a day there. That was a very successful day. Of course, it is the Harvest Moon Festival, as it's known in this game, where we get to see the Harvest Moon down by the pond. Tour time of visit gives us an actual moon, which is super cool. Uh, I do want to build a space house, like with all space furniture and like asteroids and stuff. I think that would be really cool. So, yeah, it's been quite successful, done lots of jobs, planted a golden tree, so hopefully that grows, dropped all the fruit, paid some money into our savings account, and just, oh, and we also met Genji again, who moved away, uh, like three weeks ago um, so it's really cool to experience that as well so pretty good um, so I hope you enjoyed this episode let me know if you want to see more of this Animal Crossing alongside Stardew Valley we are going to come back in a few days anyway for the sports fair so let me know and I hope you enjoyed it I'm really having fun and I, I'm glad everyone watches so I really appreciate it and the support and everything it's just awesome to play games and everyone enjoy the journey as well so thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time bye